If you are living in the Portland area, and I told you you could pick up a house for $16,000, it's going to be a cash flow investment in a red area where your landlord-tenant laws are reasonable. Would you believe me? I would hope so, because that's what I'm doing in today's show. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here, and today I'm working with a man from Portland, Oregon. His name is Elliot. Elliot, holler at your boy. How you doing, brother? Been working with you to try to find you some deals. We've worked on some wholesale deals. We've worked on a little of this, a little of that. Your situation is not unique. You're in Portland, and you got a small budget. you got $20,000 to work with. And uh, anybody who's living in the Portland area knows. Well, dude, you can't buy anything for twenty grand in Portland, number one. Number two, you'd like landlord-tenant laws that are reasonably fair. <laughs> you can't get that in Portland either. So I'm helping you buy stuff out of state. We're focused on the Cleveland market. And today, brother, I got a property that will cost you less than your $20,000, and it's in a very red area, very landlord-friendly. Let's check out the details now. Hi, my name is Terry. And given my unique status as an undead killer clown, I found my job opportunities to be fairly limited throughout my life. Then, once the COVID shutdowns hit, I, like many other Americans, found myself in a really tough financial position. After I lost my job, I couldn't even take care of my wife and kids, let alone think about anything like financial freedom. All my hope was lost. I was stuck in a downward spiral of despair and drinking. I was looking for answers, but I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. Then, then one day, everything changed for me. I discovered Holton Wise TV and how to invest in real estate. And my whole world, my whole outlook changed. And it could do the same for you if you click the link below. Welcome back, folks. This one, <clears throat> this, is a, this is a gooder. This is a gooder, man. If you are looking for low-cost properties, you found it right here, baby. This sucker. 1310 Lakeview Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio. Priced at 69900 Now, this is a tenant-occupied property, okay? And this property, we do not have more photos than what you see on the outside. Do not freak out. That is normal. Okay, here's the deal, folks. Tenants, they don't like people coming into their houses taking pictures of stuff. That's just how it is, right? It's been like that forever. And when COVID hit, it totally changed the game. Now it's like, bro, what are you doing? Get out of here, right? So do not be alarmed by that. That is normal. Here's the situation. We're not going to find anything uh magical with these photos that really matter right now okay uh this house is already section 8 approved we already have a tenant in there we're going to do our due diligence when we make our offer we're going to make our offer contingent on inspection so we will eventually get to see the inside but you're not going to see anything major that's going to swing the ball this way or this way there ain't going to be gold toilets in there making the value incrementally higher and it's already been section 8 approved so it can't be too beat up unless in the last like three months they went ape shit on the rare event that that happened that's okay at that point we could adjust or exit the deal when we get our inspection but i get a lot of new investors out there that think oh no there's no pictures what are they hiding they're not hiding anything folks Dealing with tenants, newsflash. It's kind of a pain in the dick. That's why companies like me exist. We remove those problems from you. Like normal, everyday people, y'all ain't built to deal with Section 8 tenants, okay? It's just how it is. If you don't believe me, check out the Tenants from Hell show, right? But there is like, I don't know, 3 billion, 5 billion, 7 billion people. I don't know how many people there are in the world, like a lot. Uh, most of them do not have what it takes to deal with Section 8 tenants on a daily basis, right? Uh, there's a lot of stress involved with that. My company, we remove that stress for you. Additionally, you have to understand, they make a good point. Like, hey, bro, stop coming inside my house. Dude, I'm trying to live. You know what I'm saying? It's a post-COVID world, people. So the moral of the story is you need to know that that's okay. 
That's normal. That's common. That's the way it is. Of course, we'll do the appropriate amount of due diligence when it comes. Now, as far as the price point is 69000 that's a good price point for this area, right? It's Lorain, Ohio. A lot of you probably never heard of Lorain, Ohio, right? But it's part of the Cleveland market. Now, if you're trying to get a little bit of info on the Cleveland market, the very first thing you need to do is check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. Linked it below. It's on the Tools and Resource tab of HoldenWise.com. And you can also just Google Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. It should pop up. Investors have been using that guide that I created for like five, six, seven years now, all right? I think I wrote that thing, I don't know, 2014, 2015, something like that. And it's a living document. It's a live document. I've updated it multiple times through the years, right? So uh, whenever I feel uh, something shifts, I make adjustments as necessary. And I will continue to do that for probably the rest of my career, right? Uh, that will help you in understanding the various risks and rewards of certain neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. This property, high C, possibly you can make the argument it's a low B neighborhood. Nice low key neighborhood. It's about 30 minutes west of the city of Cleveland. I like the city of Lorraine actually better than the city of Cleveland itself because I think they're more landlord friendly. Uh, we don't have to deal with the new lead paint laws that are kind of throwing a, a wrench into everything in Cleveland, right? People are having a lot of trouble understanding how those work. Most of the realtors out in Cleveland don't even understand how those work, but don't you guys worry. Of course, I know how they work. That's what I'm here for. So in the notes below, I have a video that explains all the new lead paint laws that happen in the city of Cleveland that you need to adhere to as real estate investors. Watch that video. If you're going to invest in the Cleveland market, you need to know all that stuff. It's very important, but you also need to know it only affects the city of Cleveland. There's like 350,000 people in the city of Cleveland. The Cleveland area that encompasses Lorraine and the whole area that Holton Wise services that's like four or five million people. So uh, if you believe dealing with the Cleveland lead paint regulations are too much of a pain in your butt after watching that video, that's okay. We can still help you guys buy properties, properties like this one, because you don't have to deal with that. Now, this is good and bad, what I'm about to tell you, right? The exact rent uh, is unknown at this time. It's a Section 8 tenant. Uh, the listing agent did not put it in their listing. I reached out to them. They have not gotten back to me. That's okay because when I analyze these properties, I analyze them based on market rent. And here's the thing. That's also good because most of the time when you're dealing with people selling single-family homes, they're not used to dealing with tenant-occupied properties, right? 99.9% .9 of the realtors out there, they feel like, you know, Oh, it's a house. I got to drive people to it. They look at it. They tell me they like it. They buy it. They live there, right? Most real estate agents are not familiar with the rental property game, right? So that's good, right? And what also helps us is this does have a tenant in there. So it makes it very hard for owner-occupant people to be interested in this house. And then other landlords, they kind of pass this one along because they can't even see the rent. They're already frustrated with the listing agent, right? Uh, so that said... I think it's a good thing, right? Because when I analyze these properties too, again, I always analyze them based on market rent, right? What's it going to be for the long term? Because we could always ump low rents, right? You could always get low rents up, right? You need to focus on what the thing's going to do for you for the long term, not one little blip in time. Because one little blip in time, the previous owner could have rented it too low, could have rented it too high. It don't really matter. You're planning on owning this thing for a very long time, right? So with that said, long term, this is a 1075 rental, right? That's market rent for this thing right now, 12900 right? After you factor in fixed and variable expense estimates, assuming my company, Holton Wise, does 100% of the dirty work for you. Property management, tenant screening, tenant leasing, evictions, renovations, repairs, the whole thing, even insurance, I believe you should net approximately $6,200 for the year. If you finance this thing, because you absolutely should, because financing is the name of the game in real estate, you only are going to need to put down 16 grand. Bank kicks in almost 50. Long term, this thing should project out to be around 23% cash on cash return. Best yet, the city of Lorraine that I like quite a bit. You know what else they got going on? They got two brand new naval bases that are about to be built. They're going to add several thousand jobs, right? So you got this little old city here. Under 100,000 population, we're about to add like, I don't know, three, four, five, six thousand jobs. What do you think that does for demand, folks? Makes it go up. Super landlord friendly area. It's a red state. It's in Ohio, and it's one of the more landlord friendly municipalities in Ohio. And you still get the draw of all the nationwide popularity that the city of Cleveland has 
without some of the drawbacks of the city of Cleveland because they are definitely not as landlord-friendly as the rain. All in all, I think this deal's a home run. I think this is the kind of deal you want to add to your portfolio. Low cost, low risk, easy to rock and roll. You stack 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 of these in your portfolio, folks. You are living that life. You're retiring on a big old boat. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.